Welcome back to another Vlogmas YouTube video. You guys, this series is gonna be so fun. I can just tell, especially now that it is officially December and it's the beginning of the month, the, the vibes, the energy, everything is just immaculate. And I'm just so eager to get into this month, but I want to enjoy the process, enjoy the time. It always flies by and I'm trying to make sure that I'm as present as possible. In this video, I just wanna share my wish list, but more so I'm just gonna be taking you guys along with me everywhere I go. So let's go. All right, guys, so I got a package and hopefully my dog does not bark while I'm opening it. But this is something my boyfriend ordered for our kitten on Black Friday. I'm gonna open it. I'm very excited because this little guy, he needs his own bed. He be doing, oh, this is so cute and so big. Pumpkin, what is it? Watch him like the box more than the actual bed. So I got him this bed because he honestly has no bed. He's been sleeping in the jacket that I brought him home in. So he needs a bed. But also because I want him to have like something to scratch on, something to play with. I'm so excited to see him uh, go in it. So I'm going to show you guys that and set that up because I think it would be so cute. All right, pumpkin. Let's do it. Let's do it, bubbas. <laughs> Yo, little dude. He got so excited. I know that's going to be so funny. Like, no, don't be just worried about the box. I'm looking to see what mommy got you. Gotta set it up all nice and pretty for you. Uh-oh, pumpkin, look. Are you hunting me? Come here. He's worried about the damn box. Psst, psst. He's eyeing it. Psst, psst. Ooh, what is it? What is it, bubbies? Let me see. Do you have, do you have anything you want to say? Do you want to say anything? He loves it. You loved it? <laughs> Do you love it, pumpkin? Yo, you guys, he's loving it. Uh, Good boy. Do you love it in there? So I got this bed also specifically because this material is the same material as my jacket that he would sleep with so i was hoping like it'd be an easy transition come here <laughs> he's like oh now i got a hiding spot uh-oh cow what is it <laughs> Yo, all she cares about is the box look cow <laughs> She's so unsure. What is it? Is that his bed? <coughs> Shh. <coughs> Go lay down. Pumpkin, you are so cute. <coughs> Let me go on top. <coughs> Do you love it? Okay, so you guys, we have accomplished a lot today. For it being the first of the month and me getting, I think like five hours of sleep last night, I am so proud of everything I accomplished. I'm feeling good, it's December, and we've got so much to uncover. So for this video, like I said, I wanna go over my wish list of basically what I would want for Christmas. Now mind you, when I share this with you, it's not like I gave this list to my mom and was like, hey mom, get me all of this. This is everything I want. This is just for fun, like what I would like. Just like a wish list, like what's in my cart of things that I want right now in time. Right now, I have a lot of laundry to fold. I just uploaded my first Vlogmas. My boyfriend, he's already at work. I'm here with my children. 
they are a handful because they love to play and it's like they're on my boyfriend's schedule when it comes to sleeping and being up so it makes it hard for me because then when i'm ready to settle down they have all this energy and i'm like yo it's time for bed like <laughs> and here's my dog right now and my cat they're actually both sitting on the laundry that i have to fold you got it what are you doing what are you doing what are you guys doing is it christmas pumpkin is it christmas yes yay we officially have had pumpkin for a whole month can we get a round of applause for Callie not killing him? Yay, Callie! He loves you, mommy. He loves you. Pumpkin, you love Callie? Oh, I love you too. Do you hear my dog? She is so jealous. He's just a baby, mama. He's just a baby. Just a baby. We got work to do, mama. Mommy gotta get up. Say hi guys! Yo, my children. <laughs> hey, relax. <laughs> Yo. I've got to get up early again tomorrow. My family and I are going to Philly and that's gonna be a fun vlogmas day. I'm already telling you. But let me get into cleaning because we're already pushing 1030 and that means I've got about an hour before I have to sit back down on the computer. we are going over my wish list obviously if I could get them I would have them I'm working towards that so they are on a wish list so that's why I'm excited I put together this cute little presentation for you guys I'm obsessed with just the decorations and the colors like pink green and red perfect for me with the Christmas vibes so let's just get into the first item We've got Beats by Dre. Now you guys, there is a really, really profound story as to why this is the first thing that is on this list. I have gotten, I've had these exact beats that you see in this picture when I was about, I wanna say 15 is when I first got them. And I've used these beats up until this past summer in I'd say about July or August is when my beats finally gave out. These beats, they look like they went through so much. Literally, it looks like they went under a train track and somehow still survived, but was running on its last leg. Literally, one side of my ear started to stop working and next thing you know, I'm in the gym and I'm like, this is just not the same anymore, so I had to put them away. This is why I really want a new pair of Beats, and I loved these Beats. They were immaculate. They had amazing sound, the color was perfect, they were just really amazing headphones. They lasted me close to eight years. <laughs> Next up on the list, we've got Uggs. You guys, I genuinely am obsessed with Uggs. I can remember getting my first pair in like sixth grade and I was so little, I remember it was like the thing to show off when I went to school. I kid you not, I wore these Uggs until like eighth or ninth grade. My mom literally had to throw them out because I wore them till they looked like trash. And just because I loved them literally so much, like it was probably one of the, first gifts that I can remember like really being so surprised about. I genuinely was so surprised. I was so happy. I wore them literally everywhere I went and it was so bad because I didn't take care of them. It was like the first thing where I was like, damn, like you could tell I really did not take care of these shoes. They were actually like the slip on ones. They were like the dark chocolate ones. And I just remember when I grew up, I remember I like walked on the side of my shoe. So they looked all bent to the side. It was just so bad. But 
Now I actually have, let me see, one, two, three, four, five. I have five pairs of Uggs now. None like these, but these I just know are my style because they have the platform and I love that kind of shoe. But the chestnut and the black, you can never go wrong with neutral colors because they literally go with everything. So this is for sure on my list. And for those who need to know, I am a size six. Next up, we've got a pink iPhone. All right, let's go into the story about my phone. So my phone I have here, it is pink. It is the iPhone 13 mini. Now, I'm a very tiny girl, okay? I'm only 110 pounds. I weigh, I weigh. I'm only 110 pounds. I'm four foot 11 inches. I'm small. I thought, for so long after having a big phone like the big iphone 16 i thought i wanted a small phone it was gonna fit better in my hand i was obsessed with the iphone 5 still is probably my favorite iphone that has ever come out by apple but i was like this phone the mini resembles so much to the iphone 5 i was like i'm gonna be obsessed with this phone i'm gonna love it i'm gonna love it three months in not only did the back get completely shattered by a nail tech lady, but I wound up hating the phone because I wound up working from my phone 24 seven. And honestly, it's just so hard to, I feel like manage everything on such a small screen. And at the time when I really begged my mom for this phone, I feel like it was more so because I wanted that fulfillment of feeling like I had an old iPhone and although it's light, it fits in my phone, like literally I can almost grip it. It's just not ideal for what I do on a day-to-day basis. So that is why I would like an iPhone 15. Honestly, also just because the speed, I know it's a new phone, it's going to run faster. Obviously pink because that is my favorite color. So this, this product right here is just something to also enhance my business, my brand, my content creation too. Because not only did the nail lady crack my phone, she broke my camera when she dropped it. So when I take photos, not only can I not use the cinematic mode that is specially featured on this phone, I can't use face ID, I can't take clear pictures, I can't use portrait mode, the list goes on. So I'm definitely due for a new phone. It has been a good two years. Literally, I don't even think I got to experience this phone for a solid six months without it breaking and I wasn't able to use some of the features. So it's kind of sad. And I would really like a working phone with a working camera. So moving on to the next slide. All right, y'all. If you shopped the Gymshark Black Friday sale, please let me know in the comments what you bought. Tell me how I did not buy anything until the very last day of the sale. I held off so long. I was like so proud of myself for a little bit because I'm like, oh, I didn't give in. I didn't give in. I didn't spend my money that I didn't have to spend. Last day, I see Gymshark's story. Last day of the sale. And then they upped the sales. So I was like, bruh. $10, $10, I'm not gonna see this again until next year. So what did I do? I bought some Gymshark. <laughs> but I didn't get much. I honestly just got a couple items and then some gifts for people for Christmas. But I just checked out their website because you already know Gymshark be launching lines every few weeks, especially after a sale. They have a fresh new line ready to go. And honestly, I don't know how people do it. Like how, how, I, I, I don't get it. I wish my wardrobe is 90% Gymshark, but that's accumulated over the past five years. So uh, it's just like, I wish I could have it all. Gymshark, if you see this, please reach out to me. I would love to work with you guys. But this is my wish list for what I just saw on the website. I'm loving the black, the neutral. Like, uh, I just need to re- I just also need to revamp my wardrobe. Honestly, most of my wardrobe is gym clothes and sweatpants and hoodies. But like, if it was this kind of sweatpants and hoodies, I'd be totally okay with that. But it's sweatpants and hoodies from when I was in high school. And it just don't be hitting the way I feel like it could be hitting for me in my era of life. 
so Gymshark, oh my gosh, and then can I just say, this girl right here, this outfit brought me back to my wrestling days, like, oh, I am actually going to begin wrestling coaching in a couple weeks, but this just reminded me of my wrestling singlet, like, where was this back in 2016 when I needed clothes to wear to wrestling practice. I wore so much clothes that I felt so embarrassed in because it was like weird. I had to, I was wrestling guys and it just was so weird to try to figure out what am I gonna wear to wrestling practice knowing that I'm a female wrestling dudes. But this fit absolutely fire. I would totally buy it and wear it just like that and honestly pose like her too because she just looks like a baddie. But this shirt right here, it's giving Jim like this little quote it's so cute i that's why i'm obsessed with gymshark they like make everything to me so pleasing like i'm just obsessed but it's giving snatched cute confident it's giving new like yes bro that is just whoever their marketing designer is like he needs a raise but let's move on to the next slide because i could talk about gymshark all day Next up, we've got the Trent Shelton Protect Your Peace book. Nine unapologetic principles for thriving in a chaotic world. Y'all, can I just tell you how hype I am for this book? He has been hyping this up for so long and I just cannot wait to grasp this book. Honestly, the fact that it's coming out in March and I can't get it for Christmas, this is like it's 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 this has got to be on my wish list because it's something that i really wish that i could have for christmas because i just want to start the new year off like reading a good book getting into something that i'm also looking forward to which is this book but it doesn't come out until march which i'm totally down for especially because trent's meaning behind when this book is launching and just like everything that's going on during that time it is such a special time and I just cannot wait to also get the book during that time and to experience like him going through that journey because if you follow him, if you watch his lives, watch his videos, I'm sure you'll hear the message and the impact behind this book and what his purpose is for it. But I just know that this is going to be a highlight of my year next year in helping me kind of guide myself through, like it says, principles for thriving in a chaotic world. So Trent, if you see this, please, the one thing I want under my tree is this book. I'm just kidding. All right, moving on to the next slide. Y'all, I cannot express to you how long I've been wanting a camera. Ugh, I feel like it has literally been years because it has. I, okay, I feel like I'm going to go into a little backstory here, but I have been obsessed with filming since I got an iPhone 14 which was at the age of 10 and since then I, like I remember the app it's called video star I would make so many videos in my room I would perform shows for my mom and my siblings to watch and force some of my siblings to dance in the background with me like this is something that I have genuinely been so passionate about and evolving in life and how a technology evolves i feel like you have to have you know good quality stuff to get quality material and feedback so for so long i have been wanting like a nice camera i've always had like a camera but one that like didn't just it, it didn't give me what i was actually looking for but honestly this camera this content creator kit this is something I've just, like, I know if I were to get this, like, y'all, I would be vlogging every single day. I know myself. If you look my name up on YouTube, it's embarrassing, but if you, if you do it, you'll find other channels of me vlogging when I was, like, 16 years old. I don't even know myself during that time of my life, but it was what I was doing, and it's still something I'm very, very passionate about. And then, obviously, we've got a hard drive on here because... Our drives are so expensive and to have that in a present for Christmas, like, I would be like, yo, thank you. Like, oh, 
I don't have to buy this and I have a, a hard drive now that one is good and won't break on you and then you can't have all your stuff. Oh, because we aren't gonna make that hard drive anymore, the software, like, they basically said they can't do anything about it not working when I plug it into the computer. So therefore, I just have to transfer the data from it to a new hard drive and trash that one. And I'm just like, like, who does that? Like what? So yes, a camera content creator kit. Oh, that would be the one with the flip camera. Like, oh, I'm envisioning myself. I'm going to have one of them in 2024. I'm speaking it into existence now because I just feel myself walking more and more and more into this path that I've been dreaming of, of being a content creator, vlogging on YouTube, sharing my life, documenting things like you guys, this is just everything I want, and I will have you. I will have you. Okay, but moving on to the next slide. Okay, at my boyfriend, listen, before you say no, okay, this chair not only is it pink, okay, let's just get that out of the way, but this chair has so many great aspects to it, okay? This chair, it has a little selfie stick so I could put my phone there and talk to you guys. That's like the main thing so we can be hanging out and connect, right? Then it has a little a little table for my computer so I can be typing on Zoom, looking at all your faces, programming for my clients so I can be working and being comfortable at the same time. But I feel like the best part is that this thing turns into a bed. So if I wanted to recline, it could recline back. You can push this forward. I'm pretty sure you can. It looks like you can because there's like a little a little hook in the front. Um, it has cup holder. Like this chair is everything. And I believe it's on, it is on Amazon. And I believe it's only like, and I believe it's only like 300 or something dollars. It's not that bad, but it's so cute. And the couch that I have in my living room, I absolutely hate, I cannot stand it, and I cannot wait to get rid of it. So this is a chair that I'm thinking, because it would look so cute in that area. I could put my desk back out there. Like, oh, it would be such a vibe. But moving on. <clears throat> so you guys already know it's about to be Juice World's birthday. He's a December baby. And it's also coming up on the day that Juice passed away. And it's also about to be Juice World day. I love Juice World. Literally, my username on Instagram is 999 forever. And that is because I am obsessed with Juice World's purpose, his mission, the way he served his time here on life, and the way he gave to his community in a way that truly saved lives. Like, I feel like he saved my life after he passed away, honestly. And that is something that I wish that when I was younger, I was more aware of the things I was listening to and the meaning behind those things because now how aware I am of them, it's just like so special to be a part of something that I like and that's a part of my life. I hope that makes sense. It made sense in my brain. This is a Juice World poster and I honestly want to add to my collection. I have a Juice World poster up over there. It is actually the album cover of Fighting Demons and I'm obsessed with it. I would love to add to that collection. So I went on Amazon, I saw this poster and I'm just in love with it. He looks so handsome. Ah, Juice, RIP. Oh my god. Now I want to jam to some Juice World. I probably will after I film this. But moving on to the last and final slide, you guys. Y'all, I literally have my day designer from 2023 right here with me. This is my baby. I use her every single day, every single night, all the time, 25 eight. And I need a new one. Um, I feel like I probably should order this soon myself because I don't think anyone's gonna get this for me But but I love to be set up before the new year and also before a new month and January is coming So it's like essential that I get my hands on this soon. So this is definitely on my wish list for like 
prime. Like, I need this in prime time. I need this, like, ASAP Rocky. And I just love how this one's more simple. It's more aesthetically pleasing with it just being plain and pink. I'm obsessed. But the interior with how it's set up, I'm also in love with. I will definitely be loyal to this brand day designer. Not sponsored or anything. I just loved it using it all year. Genuinely, it's been hard to find a planner that's giving you a lot of different things to include in your routine and what you focus on while you are planning out whatever it is you're doing. And it's just really cool to be organized and I love the setup of it. So this is a must. <clears throat> I know you thought that was less side, but I lied. Honestly, you guys, I wrote this, but I just want to spend so much time with my family, my boyfriend, my animals, the people who are in my circle. I want to spend quality time with you guys, creating content, showing up on my platforms and connecting with you guys virtually. Because honestly, that's like such an amazing thing that, that we need to take use of in this world that we live in today. And I just really want to make so many more memories this season. I feel like the holidays I cherish so much, especially because it is my birthday. I'm turning 24 on December 24th, literally Christmas Eve. It's kind of crazy. I'm turning 24 on the 24th, but I think it's so cool. And also guys, did you know that on the last day of the year, it's the date is going to be 123, 123, 1231, 23. That is giving spiritual vibes. But you guys, that is all for my presentation. I love that you stayed here with me throughout this entire thing. I don't know what's gonna happen next. We'll see, I guess, what comes under the tree. But with that being said, this has been Vlogmas number two, and I'm so, so thankful to have you here supporting me, watching me, coming along the journey, and who knows, maybe I will get some of this stuff for Christmas and Santa will bless me because I have definitely been on the nice list this year. But with that being said, you guys, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to give this video a like and let me know what you want to see in future Vlogmas videos. With that being said, you guys, I will chat with you on the next Vlogmas video.